probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you have to speak. Don't touch me. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So so don't land on that um, or your head. No braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so a uh, bit, of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grip, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine, I'll just, I'll just hack it, not a problem. A A A A A um A A A A A C Wait, did I do B to the jar's head? Start writing these Power up, complete. I don't okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural, do nothing Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. Dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, 
You must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do.
This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and 
Do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again.
Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs>